All right. So now we're going to work on the knight. So the knight is obviously the most trickiest one because it's got such a unique shape to it. So I'm going to kind of go through this into different parts. <clears throat> what I probably will do is I'll probably break up this piece into two different things. Uh, I'll probably have just like the shape here, this as its own separate piece, and then the little the hair or the 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 back of the hair here of the of the horse as a separate piece as well. We'll see how it goes, but this is how I'll be tackling it. Go to the side here, and what I'll what I like to do is uh, where's the create polygon tool? This is a multi cut tool. I don't see the create polygon tool here. So I'm just going to go to shift, right click, create polygon tool. And from here, I can actually draw out um, the shape that I want. And I think I'm, I, I might even make the teeth a separate, separate uh, component here. Uh, this for now. We're going to simplify it again by just doing different shapes, right? I think I don't know if I'm even getting that close or not. So I'm just going to do that there. So I wasn't very close at all, but it's fine. So I'm just going to go to vertices and I'm just going to start rearranging some of this so that it looks good. Uh, I'm going to go multi-cut tool. Put a little, I'm going to just click, a left click and drag vertice. Um, right click it to execute it. And uh, same thing. Multi cut tool again. Same thing. Move this there. Kind of get the general shape. Not looking as smooth as I'd want it. So I'm just going to add some more polys there. Smoothing that out a little bit more. And that's kind of the general shape. Kind of got the shape there, right? So now what we want to do. Once we have the shape, I'm just going to go like that. We have the shape there. Uh, what we want to do is we want to actually go in and try and clean this up a bit because right now this is one big polygon, which is not good, right? Like that's not going to fly. So, we're, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and kind of clean this up a little bit. All right, try to make triangles and um, oops, sorry, triangles and. Uh, Quads, quads as much as possible. Just multi cutting here. Get this as clean as possible. Kind of visualizing where the quads are. It's going to be a triangle. Go with this. Now let's go with something like this. Not gonna look pretty. Oh, that's not that. I'd rather do a triangle like that. Quad like that. Triangle. Like I said, this is not pretty, right? So we're gonna have to adjust and fix all this later on. Uh, so right now we obviously want at least another kind of loop going down here. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Try and create this nice little loop here, and that will allow us to kind of uh, break that triangle. And we're going to try and do one more. I'm just using the multi cut tool, I'm just cutting through here, and I'm going to start to see where I can. Where I have some duplicate triangles, and maybe I can break it out a little bit. Here, I don't doesn't seem like I have many choices. So for now, I'm just gonna leave this the way that it is. I'm gonna delete history and I'm gonna set a pivot. This is very laggy today. I don't know what's going. On. In lots of frame drops. Sorry about that. Um, now I'm going to select this whole asset or this whole the faces here. I'm going to extrude the faces. Sorry, I think I extracted extrude faces. 
Then I'm going to go thickness. Bring that out. Then I'm going to actually center the pivot, bring it, snap it to the grid. Then what we'll do is we'll probably want this edge, this edge loop here, or these edge loops here, to kind of flare out a bit. Flare out. We don't want it to flare out too too much, just because if I'm looking at reference, I'm pretty sure it doesn't flare out that much. This um, again because it's 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 a triangle here. It's doing a lot of really weird things that we probably don't want. And I'm actually just gonna grab these bases here or these vertices here, and I'm actually gonna bring these in because right now it's not looking like what a horse would look like. Press it a little bit more. If I wanted this speed to be a lot cleaner, what I could do is I can just merge this, these. And on that, just to make it a lot cleaner. And then this way, it's just less adjusting that I have to do. That. Go to history. What I could do as well is this back part. this in a bit and if I take a look at the reference images I can actually probably just from here just extrude out extrude faces go from the front view here pull this out a bit And let's hide the reference image again. Um, actually, we've got the reference image. Put a vertices. Let's kind of bring this into alignment a little bit more. Now we kind of have that shape here. Now, multi cut, we can bring uh, another edge loop in there. This one. Like that. So history, let's uh, hide reference image. They kind of have something like that. Right. Also, I forgot to rename this rook. So let's go ahead and do that rook zero one. It's gonna be one. And then now all that is just do the bottom, which is uh, again a cylinder. So just Cylinder shape. Over. Stop. Now I'm gonna get rid of X-ray mode so I can take the vertices, select the vertices here, snap it to this length so it's exactly the same. And go back to X-ray mode. I use X-ray mode a lot. If I was uh, smart, I would probably just make a hockey. We go back and forth between between the two gonna go obviously right into there the multi cut tool a couple cuts there uh we're gonna cut here here for sure and so cut these scale these in and scale these vertices up here out Add in another edge group here. That views will probably scale in. 
smooth this up, adjust it. I'm actually going to add in another edge loop here. Select the edges here, scale that. That. Move this up just a tad bit. Move a tad bit. Edge loops here. Make this a lot smoother by adding in some more edge loops. Make it smoother. Do the same here as well. Smoother. Smoother. All right, so there we go. The history. Now we have that. You can tell that the knight not sitting nicely, right? So, uh, what, what we can do is if we go to x ray mode, right? right it looks like it's pretty much almost flush to it, so now we're just gonna match it a little bit better. Uh, turn off x ray mode. I'm actually gonna turn on, um, if you go to modeling toolkit, you can even do this to symmetry. Uh, you can turn on symmetry. I'm gonna go object Z, and blue is the Z axis. So this way, when I select this one, it should. That's not. Okay. Uh, let's go world. Dead. There we go. So now, if I move this one, it'll move the other side as well. Uh, that would be that will be very very helpful. I like matching things. Uh, this way, you don't have to do it both sides as often. And as you can tell, like it would be nice to have another, another edge loop there. Just to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. Smoother. I think over on this side as well. That's what we'll do. Another edge loop here. Yeah, I think this did create a really weird see how it created this really weird triangle. So we'll fix that in, in, in a second here. Smoothing this out a little bit. I feel like this needs at least one more here. <clears throat> Make this look, look a little nicer. There we have it. And then what we can do is this kind of scales in a little bit more like that. And then what I can do, select all the edges. This. Uh, kind of scale it up a bit. Scale this out. Right. Now we can kind of see how it looks. X-ray mode. Because it does look like it's that's the piece that would be hovering. Not extra mode. Cool. Now we kind of have our knight. And uh, what we can do is we can okay, so let's fix these triangles and stuff like that that I said that we're seeing. So multi cut. I'm gonna turn off. Actually, hold up. Here. There. All right, let's turn off symmetry. We're just kind of clean things up a tad bit here. Uh, we can merge these vertices just to keep the things clean. Uh, let's turn back on symmetry. World space. Go we'll target weld. Weld, so now there. Still, keep, we can still continue cleaning things up. We still need to clean this. Work. Yeah, so yeah, so you have to turn off symmetry. That. And now what can do is the nose I feel is quite fat here. Probably don't need to be that fat. Fill these in. That bit kind of tweak shape of the whole the night a little bit so it looks a little bit more realistic 
And there we have it. Great history. I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna go to mesh uh, this display, go to soften hard edges. That kind of does a good job for the bottom, but the top is not what I want. I'm just gonna change this a little bit. Change the angle to 45 maybe. Still not good. So I'm actually gonna undo the soften here. I'm just gonna do the soften edges on this one. Soften hard edges on that. For this one, soften hard. There we go. So that's the night. Uh, next video will. I mean, I guess I I can still do the teeth here. Um, if I wanted to do the teeth, it would just be pretty simple. I'd probably just uh, do the teeth. I can do something like this. You know. And that would be the teeth. Yeah, yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. These are a nice silhouette. The history. I'm gonna combine these two. Uh, shift right click. Yep, shift right click. Combine. Delete history. Rename to night zero one. And we're good. All right. So next video, we'll work on the bishop.